<laughs> oh, it's so bright. Okay. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Today is the last day of a... <laughs> no! Hello, it's Kristen, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the last day of our A to Z Ghibli food series. We did it. We made it. Yes. Is it recording? I can't tell. For the letter Z in the A to Z Ghibli food series, I am making Zaniba's Tea Time Cookies as our very last video. You can find these cookies in the movie Spirited Away. Here are the ingredients for this recipe. In a large bowl, cream the butter and the sugar. Then add the vanilla and mix well. Don't forget to clear your work surface, kids. Next, add the egg and whisk. Then scrape down the sides and make sure everything is well mixed. Next, add the flour, baking powder, and salt, and mix. This would have been much easier if I used a bigger bowl or perhaps even a stand mixer, but there's no going back now. And if you're like me and we're too lazy to use a bigger bowl because it's a pain to wash, make slicing motions with your rubber scraper to incorporate the flour into the dough. And eventually, it'll look like this. Once it's mixed, divide the dough in half. I like to use a scale for this part, but that's optional. Then take two pieces of parchment and one half of the dough, and with a rolling pin, roll the dough to about half a centimeter thick or a little thinner than a quarter of an inch. I like to flip it over to smooth out the other side. Then flip it back to make sure there are no wrinkles in the parchment. Then slip it on a cookie sheet and put it in the fridge for the duration of this next part. Okay, let's go back to using wildly unfunctional little teeny tiny bowls. For the chocolate cookie dough, I used two tablespoons of regular cocoa powder and one tablespoon of Dutch processed cocoa powder. If you don't have Dutch processed cocoa powder, just add another tablespoon of regular cocoa powder to get a more chocolatey flavor and color. If you want to use your hands for this part, that's cool. And if you're looking at me kneading this and going, wowie, those cookies are going to be tough as fudge. Don't worry, they won't be. Once you've reached the desired chocolate looking level, add the cranberries and mix them in. These don't need to go into the refrigerator, just straight to sheet and oven. I like to measure the dough and then divide it into equal balls, but you can definitely eyeball it. I also like to press them down a bit, which helps them to spread while baking. Then bake these cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. When they're done, use the handle of a wooden spoon or spatula and poke little wells on the top of the cookies. Then, let them cool completely on the baking sheet. And back to the vanilla cookies. Use a cookie cutter to stamp out square shapes, or you can cut them out if you want. Then using a blunt knife or an offset spatula, make a crisscross pattern on the tops. Then bake them at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Any scraps can be re-rolled and shaped however you want.
While they're baking, put jam or cherries into the wells of the chocolate cookies. And enjoy! If you followed along since the beginning, since the letter A, thank you guys so much for your ongoing support. Your positive comments really mean a lot to me and your thumbs ups and everything like that. They are really awesome and they really kept me going. I didn't know if anybody was actually going to watch this series, so it's nice to know that you guys are out there, so thank you. If you've just stumbled upon my video magically on the last day, there are 25 more videos in this series. So if you want, you can go ahead and check them out. I'm going to put links everywhere basically. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been quite the food adventure. I hope that you've been enjoying these videos because I've definitely had fun making them and testing the food and eating stuff in general. Oh, do let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do another series or if there's any kind of recipe that you'd like to see from like a movie or an anime or whatever. And maybe I'll start something in the future. Until then! Bye!